Welcome to chapter three in the math. This is uh, all about geometry and measurement. Pretty slick chapter, actually. Um, 3.1, the first section in this chapter, is all about parallel and perpendicular line segments. So the vocabulary that we're going to consider is what a protractor is, parallel, perpendicular, line segment, square, rays, and lines. Not in that order. <laughs> um, a protractor. This is uh, what a protractor is. I'm sure most of you have used it. And it is used to measure angles. You can measure it from either side. It starts in, at zero here and works its way up all the way to 180, which is a straight line. Or if it's open on the other side, you can use this scale for, again from zero all the way to 180. Okay, so that's a protractor. Uh, this tool is referred to as a square. Um, and as you can see, it is. This corner right here is very square. And what we mean by square is that it is exactly a 90 degree angle. So you could slap that on some paper or wood or whatever, and you could draw a line here and here. And this angle, this angle right here, is always going to be 90 degrees. Always, always, always. Okay? And that's why they refer to it as a square, because it is. Okay. Uh, and then these three um, terms, a line, um, this one right here shows a line, and it is a, a line <laughs> that goes on forever and ever and ever. So that's why we have arrowheads here. So there is no beginning to it, it's infinite, and there is no end to it, it's infinite in both directions, and that's what uh, a line is considered. So can you measure the length of a line? No, you can't. You cannot measure the length of a line. You can, however, measure the length of a line segment. That's this one right here. And a line segment is a line that has a beginning, a definite beginning, and a definite end. So these ones you can measure. Okay, You can actually have a measurement for that. A ray is kind of a combination. It is a line that has a definite beginning, but it does not have a definite end. It goes on again infinitely. So can you measure a ray, the length of a ray? No, you cannot. Okay. So the only one you can really measure, and as we'll get to, cut in half or bisect, the only one that you can uh, do that to is a line segment. Okay. Uh, let's go on to page two here. So uh, some more terms. Uh, again, these aren't totally new, but uh, the phrase parallel, or the term parallel, this means um, when you have two or more lines, or line segments even, we'll call them just lines though, two or more lines that will never intersect. Intersect means to meet and cross. Okay? So and how you know that something is parallel is if you grab your ruler, if I possibly could grab this ruler. Hello. Oh, there we go. Okay, if we took this ruler and we measured the distance, Right there. So that is four centimeters, right? From there to there, it's four centimeters at one end. If we measured it at the other end, boom, it's four centimeters, right? So they're not getting closer together and they're not getting farther apart. That means that they are parallel and they will never ever cross. If one end is um, larger or smaller than the other end, that means they are getting either farther apart or closer together, in which case they will intersect at a certain point. Okay, I think I might need that ruler again here. Uh, perpendicular now. When we have two lines, uh, two lines that when they meet, or they could intersect, so th these two lines right here, this one, the blue one and this red one, they're just meeting here, right? They meet right at this juncture right here. Even if this one crossed, uh, we'd still be looking at some uh, perpendicular lines here. Okay. And the key with perpendicular lines is that the lines have to at least meet. And when they meet, they form a 90 degree angle. That means this angle right here, just as it is written here, this angle right here is 90 degrees. That also means that on the other side, it's going to be 90 degrees. Okay. And the symbol we use, the symbol we use to show a 90 degree angle is this square right here. Again, going back to that tool that you use, um, referred to as a square. Okay. 
but this symbol right here indicates that we've got a 90 degree angle. Now, how would you draw a perpendicular line? Well, I've got the instructions here and I'm just going to show you real quick. So first thing you do is you draw, um, you just draw a line. Bing. Okay, and then you need a protractor. Whoops. So let's move this down. Almost there. Okay, so our, our uh, perpendicular line. Now with your protractor, you want to put uh, this line right on this one right here. Okay, so you're going to go right like that. 90 degrees is right at this point right here. I'm going to get my pen. Put 90 degrees right there. And our uh, bottom point. This isn't the best per protractor actually to use, but oh well. It's right there. Okay, and then let's see if I can use this. I'll just use this as a straight edge. See if it'll work. And then all we do is we connect the lines. Oh, whoops. Let me try that again. Sorry. Oh, good grief. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> okay. That's, uh, that's not looking good. Let me cheat. There. <laughs> that was cheating. I was supposed to use a ruler. But oh, well. Okay, so here we have two lines. They're meeting, and they're forming a 90-degree angle. That means that this angle right in here is how many degrees? 90 degrees. That's right. And the symbol that we can use, let's see if I can uh, draw this one nice and straight, is the square symbol that indicates that we're dealing with a 90 degree angle. Okay, so those are lines that are perpendicular. And that, my friends, is 3.1.